We're here today to establish how to pick the best fish oil product. It turns out that most Americans are actually consuming fish oil supplements and yet they're not consuming the best ones. This is a result of a combination of incredibly misleading marketing techniques in concert with the difficulty really of understanding what one is looking for when one is purchasing a fish oil product. So the first thing you have to ask yourself is why you are taking a fish oil supplement. And the answer to that question is actually quite simple. You want to increase the intake of two very, very important fatty acids from fish, the omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA. That's the goal, period. Second, you have to ask yourself what you want to avoid in a fish oil supplement. And what you want to avoid is excess fat, because it's fattening, and also excess impurities that are contained in this excess fat. And these impurities are things like PCBs, dioxins, furans. These are potential carcinogens. The less concentrated an oil and the less purified an oil, the more likely you will be to be obtaining these unwanted elements. The third thing you have to do is read the label. And that's now what we're going to talk about. So we're going to learn how to read a label for a fish oil product so that you can purchase the best product possible and you can consume the most healthful product possible. All right, so now let's get to the crux of the matter. Let's actually read the label. Well, the first thing you need to know is ignore the front of the label. Invariably, there is marketing material on the front of the label that will be misleading. So what you want to do is go immediately to the back of the label and read the supplement facts. The first thing you do when you read the supplement facts is look at the serving size. How many soft gels or how many pills are in one serving? It could be one pill, two pills, three pills, or even four pills. This is a very important issue because you want to know how many pills you need to take to get what you want to get. You also want to know how concentrated and how purified a product is. And obviously, if it takes a great number of pills to give you a certain amount of EPA and DHA, that's a less concentrated and a lower quality product. So the second thing you do is you move down to the DHA and EPA lines. And you read how much DHA and how much EPA is contained per serving. So with this product that was supplied by our cameraman today, uh, we were given a product that is actually very, very commonly taken. It's a very popular product and it is a great example of what not to take. So unbeknownst to him, he was taking a truly inferior product and this is how we know. If you go to the back of the label and read the supplement facts, the first thing you see is that there are two pills per serving. So then you go and you read the EPA and DHA lines and you add them up and they total 600 milligrams. So that's 600 milligrams of combined DHA and EPA per serving, which is two pills. That means there's 300 milligrams of EPA and DHA per pill. And each of these pills has one and a half grams of fat. So of that 1.5 grams or 1500 milligrams, only 300 milligrams is the stuff you want to take. The rest of it is junk oil. And in that junk oil, you can become fat because you're taking extra fat that's unnecessary. And there are certain contaminants that you will be getting because it's just present in that oil. Let's take another product. This is Vital Oils 1000. Go to the back of the label and you look at the supplement facts. Again, the first thing you do is see how many pills or how many soft gels per serving. In this case, it's one. Then you go to the EPA and DHA lines and you add them together. The DHA is 750 milligrams. The EPA is 250 milligrams. In total, that's 1,000 milligrams. Each pill has 1,000 milligrams 
of combined EPA and DHA as compared to the last product that our poor cameraman is taking, which has only 300 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA in an even larger pill. So th therefore you can see that this is a much purer product, a much more highly concentrated product, one that has less unnecessary fat and one that has lower levels of these impurities such as PCBs, dioxins, and furans. Now, why is 1,000 milligrams such an important number? It turns out that the American Heart Association has a very clear guideline and recommendation on its website which states that for people with cardiovascular disease, they should take 1,000 milligrams a day of combined EPA and DHA. So one pill of Vital Oils 1000 has 1,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA satisfying the American Heart Association requirement. With the other product that our cameraman is taking, you'd have to take over three pills a day. Other information that is vital for you to understand when choosing a fish oil is how is it purified? So with Vital Oils 1000, the purification process is something called supercritical fluid processing. And what this does is purifies the very, very delicate oil in a sensitive and gentle fashion. It does it at a low temperature, so it doesn't damage the oil, and it also does it in a way that removes more of those impurities that we already spoke about. And finally, we all know about the fishy aftertaste that one can have with a fish oil product. If you enteric coat a product, as Vital Oils 1000 is enteric coated, that will either eliminate or certainly greatly reduce the likelihood of ever experiencing a fishy aftertaste.